Wilson Newton Ann. Today's video, I'm going to take you for a close and personal of this 2022 Gili Okavango 1.5 48-volt EMS mild hybrid system Urban Plus that is fated to a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission. As always, I'm going to take this Gili Okavango Urban Plus for a startup and a full walk-around review, showing you the most interesting features from the interior as well as the exterior. So what are you waiting for? Let's sit back, relax, and enjoy of this review. Behind closed doors, I'm a fool for you. A big thanks to GD Iloilo for allowing me to review their brand new units. For more information, see the description box below. So, here's the key fob. Let's go ahead and get started. The Gili Okavango Urban Plus is equipped with remote start feature as standard. In order to remotely start the Okavango, make sure that the car is locked, then press and hold the start button on your key fob. As you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out. When you lock the car, the side mirrors will automatically fold in. And to fold out again, just unlock the car. Also, if you press and hold the unlock button, you are able to roll down all four windows in the car simultaneously. And to roll all of them back together, just press and hold the lock button. Standard in all Okavango variants is GD's Smart Keyless Entry System. Just to make sure that the key fob is in yourself and utilize the ridge area found in any of the front door handles in order to lock the car and tapping behind the door handle in order to unlock the car. To start the Okavango Urban Plus, make sure that the key fob is inside the vehicle, put your foot on the brake, and hit this engine start stop button to fire up the engine. Very quiet startup. The Gili Okavango gets an electric assisted rack and pinion power steering system. For the range topping Urban Plus, it's all made up with a three spoke flat bottom designed leather wrapped steering wheel with sport grips at 10 and 2, piano black and chrome highlights at the bottom spokes, and mounted controls are found at the left and right spokes of the wheel, accentuated with chrome highlights. Under a 1.5 liter turbocharged gasoline engine, with a 48-volt electric motor synergy system technology, all variants of the Okavango are mated to a 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission or DCT in short. DCT is a version of a conventional automatic gearbox with two different sets of clutches, by which the first clutch controls odd gears and the second clutch controls even gears. Since this is a wet type 1, this one gives a compact and lightweight system unlike your regular DCT. With this, it gives a high fuel efficiency, less lag between shift times, and greater smoother shifts. This one is featured with a sequential manual shifting via the plus and minus in this joystick-like gear shifter. 
a reverse camera with active guidelines, a 360 degree panoramic view camera, and rear parking sensors are all the standard safety features for the GD Okavango Urban Plus. The heart of the Okavango is a GD's G Power 1.5 liter dual overhead cams 12 valves and a turbocharged inline 3 cylinder gasoline engine with dual variable valve timing. This engine is combined with a GD's own 48 volt electric motor synergy battery aiding to a higher fuel efficiency and powerful engine performance. The 48 volt EMS battery will charge through the power from the 1.5 liter engine upon cruising as well as applying kinetic energy by braking. Hence, the 48 volt EMS battery provides maximum assistance of 10 kilowatts of power and 15 newton meters of torque upon acceleration. And GD claims that the performance can be improved by up to 10%, so as the fuel economy by up to 15%. It produces 190 horsepower at 5,500 RPM and 300 newton meters of torque between 1,500 and 4,000 RPM. Fuel tank size is 52 liters with the emission rating of Euro 5. A 7-speed wet dual-clutch transmission is the sole transmission for this engine and the drivetrain of the Okavango is a front-wheel drive vehicle. Fuel economy rating for this car is at 7 to 13 km per liter in the city and 16 km per liter on the highway. Not bad for this mild hybrid Okavango. Okavango. It was named after the Okavango Delta in Botswana, a landlocked country in South Africa, and it is GD's seven-seater mid-size crossover that has been around for a year, and better known as the Haoyu or Haoyue, whatever you call it, in China. After the success of the Coolray and the Ascara, GD has brought the Okavango into our shores, making it the greatest contender against the legendary Toyota Innova and many other MPVs or mid-size crossovers out there. The question here is, does the GD Okavango will make everyone change their mind when it comes to a 7-seater family hauler vehicle? That's all we need to find out. When it comes to its silhouette, maybe you might be a bit confused. A lot of you will say that, ah, that is a large crossover with 7 seats, while others will say, nope, that's an MPV. To make this clear, the Okavango is originally a mid-sized crossover with the qualities of a true MPV. Gets nyo? Well, moving on, the exterior design of this MPV-like crossover is strong, sharp, aggressive, and very stylish which makes this car strikingly attractive on the road. The interior, on the other hand, has a premium and futuristic design that combines with some advanced technology and a roomier cabin that will make your family stay nice and cozy. What makes the Okavango even more smarter is the whole host of advanced technology, which GD offers to have a lot more convenience and more safety than anything else. And be surprised that this Okavango Urban Plus that we have here in this video has offered with a panoramic sunroof, which you don't find in many MPVs out there except the Maxus G50 Premium and the Charity Go 8 Luxury EX. Overall, we can all agree that the GD Okavango can possibly make every family man's mind change when choosing a vehicle that is capable for every family, which is proven that the car is smarter thanks to all of those techie goodies found throughout the car, space and practicality, and best of all, its fuel-saving engine thanks to the mild hybrid system technology. Affordability-wise, you can get this GD Okavango in less than 1.5 million Philippine pesos lower than the topping range Toyota Innova 2.8V and G variants. Therefore, the Okavango is a budget-friendly 7-seater mild hybrid crossover that every family will enjoy with a smile on their face. Exterior features for the GD Okavango Urban Plus are equipped with automatic ABB matrix LED headlights with LED daytime running lights, LED front and rear fog lights, full LED rear lights, automatic rain sensing wipers, GD's sharp and aggressive expanding Cosmos front grille, indicators on the body colored side mirrors, body color door handles with chrome highlights, silver roof rails, and rear spoiler with LED third brake light.
standard for the Okavango Urban Plus are the sets of 18-inch two-tone aluminum alloy rims which are wrapped in 225-55R18 tires. It gets ventilated disc brakes in front and solid disc brakes for the rear. McPherson struts and torsion beams are the front and rear suspensions for this car. Speaker, bottle holder or storage. Window controls, all four windows in this car are getting fully automatic function in both directions. Window lock, central locking, window controls. A button to operate your power lift gate, headlight adjuster, your um, brightness adjuster. This car is featured with, a, with an auto start stop feature, whereby when the system is activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop such as a traffic light or traffic jam to save extra bit of uh, fuel depending what the car is running on. You also got your storage, bonnet release lever. The driver's seat on this car gets a fully powered adjustments with all of your controls located right here. You have the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side. You got your powered uh, seat back, your powered uh, seat inclination, seat height, and seat side position. All right, so let's start it up. With the door closed. Center armrest and underneath you have a small small size but a perfect size amount of storage area with your cooling vent right here to keep your items shielded. This is a split opening, single cup holder in the storage together with your cover right here. Your uh, tra traction control, heel descent control. A button to activate your 360 degree uh, around view monitor or 360 degree camera. This rotary dial right here uh, 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 changes your different driving modes. So in this GD Okavanko, you have three different driving modes. You have your Eco, Comfort, and Sport. small storage and this car is featured with an electronically controlled parking brake to disengage the parking brake put your foot on the brake and then push the toggle down and to activate again simply pull it back up this car is featured with an auto hold function whereby when you arrive at a stop such as traffic light or traffic jam or any kind of incline roads if the system is activated the car won't actually move forward or roll back even when you lift your foot off the brake. More storage right there underneath and right there is your 12 volt power outlet that has a maximum of 120 watts of power. Storage, two USB ports, got your triple zone automatic climb control system with all of your controls located right here it is quite simple to use. The reason why this is a triple zone because you have three separate controls for your temperature including at the back driver side temperature front passenger side temperature fan speed automatic off button your recirculation front and rear defrost and you can control your uh climb control system with this uh infotainment screen again this is your um driver side temperature front passenger side temperature automatic ac max ac front and rear defrost your recirculation you got your different modes Fan speed, sync. Now, sync means when you turn on, each sides will have uh, the same controls for both sides. But if you turn it off, each sides will have individual controls. You can activate your 
rear air conditioning by pressing this button right here. Hazard switch, two air convents. The Genie Okabango Urban Plus gets a 10.25 inch multimedia touchscreen head unit, which features a various media connectivity settings, QD link, and six speakers for the sound system. The stock sound system of this G Okavango Urban Plus works absolutely quite good, you know. So currently you are in a Bluetooth audio streaming with your current song title information, album artist, your plane pause, go for go back with the song, go forward the song. And if you swipe this up, it leads to your uh, dual zone automatic line control system. Image of your uh, song that you played with media my music on my music you can go to your usb1 usb2 and bluetooth music it's a very simple setup at the bottom you got your audio button radio home button your telephone button and your settings now let's go first with the telephone button right here you got your recent calls contacts can dial a number using your style pad next is your settings now on your settings here is your vehicle settings with your rear view mirror settings lamp settings car lock settings comfort settings tailgate settings reminder type smart costing next is your connections bluetooth devices display sound you can adjust your equalizer settings but attenuation volume adjustment touchscreen and all that and lastly go to your um, system settings uh, on your system settings about your device hardware version system version all kinds of stuff storage Restore factory settings. To go to your home menu, hit this button right here. And for your home menu, you can go to your music, phone, radio, photo gallery, your video settings, 360, uh, 360 panorama. leads to your uh, 360 degree around view monitor QD link and that's pretty much it on this uh, infotainment system of this GD Okavango Urban Plus Your light and indicator controls. Cruise control. Your on hook and off hook buttons for your Bluetooth telephone menu. While on the right side is your uh, a button to, uh, to go through your home menu. Uh, mute button. Seek track. Up and down arrows to go through your volume. Uh, to go through your, to adjust your volume, I mean. Uh, mode button and this button right here corresponds you to control the multi-information display right within the instrument gauge. You can use the same up and down arrows and side-by-side -side arrows to, uh, to, to select your different uh, modes within the info, in, within the, uh, with this multi-information display.
and your wiper controls. You have automatic lights and automatic rain sensing windshield wipers. The steering wheel in this car gets a manual tilt and telescopic adjusting using this lever right here. Electronic center locking. Power folding side mirror, power folding side mirrors. No grip handles for this side. Driver's side sun visor with a vanity mirror. Reading lights, interior lights. This toggle right here uh, opens and closes your panoramic sunroof, while this toggle right here opens and closes the shade of your panoramic sunroof. Sunglass holder and your auto dimming rear view mirror. Sun visor with a vanity mirror. Grip handle for the uh, front passenger side. Slow opening and uh, a decent size amount of glove box, I would say. Alright. So that's it for this one. Here's the button to turn off or on your this infotainment display. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of our review. Speaker, bottle holder, and storage right, right somewhere in there. With the control, the middle row seat backs can be do fold down in a 2040 manner. To do this, use this strap right here. Pull it. Give it some guidance, and then you can able to fold the middle, the, the middle row seat. Simple as ABC. And to gain access at the last row seat, use this lever right here, pull it. Then you can go and get access at the last row seat. The Okabango has a wide opening doors which gives you easy access upon entry and exit. I did set the driver's seat in my comfortable driving position, and I did get a large legroom and headroom. Therefore, the space inside of this car in the middle row is very roomy with a combination of these nice and comfy leather seats. Not bad in this kind of class. Once more, there's a bar underneath in every seat in the middle row to adjust its position depending on how spacious the middle row or the last row is. 
Also, you are able to fold the middle seat in the second row by using the strap located on the left side on that seat. You have storage pockets in both driver and front passenger side seat backs, and in the middle are your rear air vents together with your controls for the aircon at the back. Down there are your two USB charging ports and a little storage. Right at the ceiling on both sides for the rear are your grip handles as well as your LED reading lights. Now let's jump in at the last row seat of the Chidi Okavango. Climbing at the last row seats of the Okavango is pretty okay. As the middle row seat was set in the furthest back position, the space itself is a little bit cramped in my case, unless I move the middle row seat a bit forward to accommodate a little space at the back. Overall, the perfect people who will seated at the back are children and small adults, but in my case, when the middle row seat was moved a little forward, I think the space in the last row is pretty okay. At the back, you found storage, cup holder, and air vent, which are found on both sides. There are a couple of various ways to open up the power tailgate of the GD Okavango Urban Plus. Boot space of the Okavango when all the rear seats are upright measures 257 liters. Fold the third row seats down to create a generous 1200 liters of boot capacity and when all the rear seats are folded down, the boot capacity of the Okavango measures 2050 liters of space. Under the boot floor are a toolkit and jack and underneath it is a space saving spare tire. On the left side of the boot, you found an LED illuminating light. One interesting feature for the Okavango both Urban and Urban Plus is the power lift gate can be preset in your desired height that you want. To do this, just adjust your tailgate in your preferred height that you want and then press and hold the closing button on your power tailgate just a few seconds until it beeps. Right now, your power tailgate has already set to your desired height. Very convenient feature for this car. In terms of safety, the GD Okavango Urban Plus gets 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force distribution, electronic stability control, hill start assist, hill descent control, tire pressure monitoring system, ELR seat belts in all seats, Isofix child seats and tether anchors for the rear seats, and immobilizer. Thank you for tuning in of the startup and a full walk around review of this 2021 GD Okavango 1.5 turbo 48 volt EMS Urban Plus that is mated to a 7 speed wet dual clutch transmission. I hope you like this video and if you do, make sure hit thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, if you're subscribed to my channel, please hit the notification bell button to get notified for my latest updates. And don't forget, follow all of my social media platforms. As always, I'll see you next time with four more latest videos on YouTube. God bless you, more power, I love you all, and yeah. mabuhay. Yeah. 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 Uh.
Makikita mo ako sa kalsada with the homies Kulang kami kasi yung ibahan ng the police Pilipinas hustler, peso, peso, peso Mga Pinay ko magkakasin 